What's up people are we doing today? This is Mark, the iCloud helper, coming to you from Cardiff City. And guess what? The good news has finally come. It's finally arrived. The fully untethered bypass, premium, might I add, bypass for the latest Mac OS Sonoma on the latest Bridge OS 8.4 is finally here, people. It's finally here. Checkmate released it earlier today. I'd just like to clarify today is the 19th of March, 2024. And basically, it's here. So, no more using the tethered bypass, people. We have the fully untethered, it's available. And I am going to basically show you step by step of how to do the full premium bypass, right? And once the premium bypass is done, everything on your Mac will be fully activated. Everything. A special thanks to the Checkmate team for their hard work and their hard efforts in making this happen. Okay? So... First things first, obviously what you do need, yes, you need another MacBook, yes. And common sense, this is for MacBooks with a T2 chipset, okay? So MacBooks from 2018 to 2020 that have the T2 chipsets, okay? So what you do is you need a USB-C cable to another USB-C cable and basically like i've done here you put it in the second one down okay on both macs so that side second one down that side the same again second one down right okay so now onto your host mac what you need to do is basically simply download the checkmate software for this bypass so we head over to checkmate.info's website scroll down until you get to the activation lock bypass and there it is for mac os brilliant and simply just click download we'll download the file in your password and install bingo job done so now simply close out of this head over to your launch pad and you will find it as you can see it's right there the mac t2 so now what we need to do is we need to put the target Mac into a DFU state, okay? So simple process, what you need to press is the power key, the right shift, the option and control key. You need to press all four at the same time, okay? So I'll do that now. So power, shift, option, control, go close that and as you can see the wheel there yep yeah, the wheel there is spinning stage two in progress brilliant as you can see the product version is 8.4 and this is a MacBook Pro 13 inch 2019 model. So we're going to go ahead and click start. Bypass is now in process.
at this stage do not disconnect the cables whatever you do <laughs> look at that your mac os device has been successfully bypassed brilliant stuff So now I'm just going to disconnect the cable and what I'm going to do, we don't need this one anymore. So we'll just switch to the target one. Yeah. So disconnect the cable. Obviously when you go through your purchase, I've obviously purchased mine. When you go through your purchase, be sure to use promo code iCloud Helper 029. Okay. You, that way you'll get 10 to 15% off your purchase. However, because the untethered bypass was released today, uh, Checkmate will only have the 5% the off promo code for now, probably for, I'd say, the next two weeks or so. And then, then you'll be able to have 10 to 15% off. It doesn't matter which promo code you use. That's basically, that's simply the case so to speak so now on the target mac what you want to do is when you press power you want to hold command option and r so it brings us to the internet recovery okay so simply power command option r those three keys and as you can hear it chimed yeah if it failed, it wouldn't shine. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to connect it to Wi-Fi. Okay, so now it's going to go through the internet recovery process. Yeah. Once the internet recovery process is done, it will go straight to the Mac OS recovery. And when it gets to the Mac OS recovery, once this process here is done, I'll be right back with you. Sometimes on internet recovery, it might fail and you could get an error code. But if you do get an error code, it's fine. Just power your Mac off, power it back on, but make sure you hold command option and R. Why? I'll tell you why. By holding command option and R, we'll bring up the latest Mac OS on the computer, which of course is Sonoma. If you use command and R, that'll bring up the current Mac OS. If you use command option shift and R, that'll bring up the old Mac OS, the very first Mac OS that came out on this specific T2 device. Do you see what I mean? That's why it's imperative. Once the bypass is done, again, power, command option, and R. Once this process is done, I'll be right back with you. And bingo. So as you can see, we are now at the Mac OS recovery. So if the internet recovery uh, fails with an error code, all you simply need to do is connect the cable back to the host Mac, open up Checkmate, do the bypass again, and then power the Mac back on, command option and R, go through the internet recovery until it basically is a success. So uh, the first time I just done the internet recovery, I had an error code. So I connected it to Checkmate, done the bypass again, powered it on, command option R, and here we are. Connect to Wi-Fi, and now the next step, what you need to do is head over to Disk Utility, okay? and select your main drive. So in my case, it's the Macintosh HD is the main drive. Select that one, 
select your main one. Don't 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 select the Mac OS uh, base um, recovery. So you could select this, show all devices there. So in my case, it's the Macintosh HD, and basically what I'm going to do is select erase, and then keep it as Macintosh HD and simply erase the partition. So it's going to erase the partition now. Success, excellent. So now it's done that, right? We can close out the disk utility and then we go on to reinstall macOS Sonoma. Simply continue. Make sure at this stage that your charger is connected to your Mac whilst performing the installation. Yeah, it's important because otherwise it'll object to. So we'll continue with the installation now. And it's super easy, you know, it's, and it's, it's fully intended. It's going to be fully activated and you can do virtually anything you want on here. So you won't have to worry anymore about the battery dying and then having to grab another MacBook to do the bypass again. You don't have to worry if you accidentally press a power button. You know, that's not that's not the case anymore. Uh, the fully untethered bypass is done and we're good to go. So let's agree to this. And yeah. And see, the disks will show. If you go into disk utility, if you don't go into disk utility and erase it, it'll be blank by there. It won't have a disk. See what I mean? So that's why you've got to do that. So it shows that. Select the disk. Continue. And now it's going to install the Mac OS. Okay. Once it's finished installing the Mac OS, again, I'll be right back with you folks. Okay, so as you can see, macOS Sonoma has been fully installed and we are right at the beginning and now I'm going to go through the setup. Just connect to Wi-Fi a sec. Okay, and... Select enter. So the full premium bypass is done. I've showed you step by step and there we are, look, data and privacy. Let's go through the setup and just confirm a few things. Just creating the account now. And this is fully untethered, people. Exactly what we've all been waiting for.
and look at that fully untethered bypass done and dusted so what i am going to show you firstly yeah i'm going to shut the mac down and power it back up again Power and bingo. Look at that. Wow. Coming I mean, fair play. Fair play. It's not an easy it's not an easy bypass to do. You know, it, it takes time. It does take time. Especially with the uh, you know the T2 chipsets. Okay, so created my account put in my password there we are full access to your device fully untethered so it's not like the hard reset as it's a bypass and this is my advice once you've done the bypass you're going to be on the latest Mac OS Sonoma anyway select software update right and when it's got updates turn them off turn all the updates off Okay, so you want automatic updates off that's only my advice if you choose to have yours on then that's up to you but um, I wouldn't advise updating even the betas because it could get patched it could so my advice would be to uh, turn off all automatic updates full stop I mean you've got it on the latest Sonoma which is excellent it's remarkable and I shouldn't have to point out the obvious, but I will. So as it's a bypass, what don't you do? Erase all content and settings. Because common sense, what happens if you do? The activation lock will come back. However, because you've purchased the service, your serial number is now added to Checkmate's database. So if you did have to erase all content and settings, whether your device was uh, lagging or you had some other type of problems or issues with it, then no problem. Obviously, back up everything first to an external hard drive, USB stick, etc. And you can basically keep doing the bypass as many times as you want on that specific device why because you've paid for it do you see what i mean so yeah i have to point out the obvious because you know some people i mean they think oh yeah i'll erase it and just see this check this out check that out you know but my advice and especially with the updates as well leave it be you know it's an iCloud bypass if it was mdm I'd have a different opinion on that, you know? So, yeah, I strongly recommend you, you take my advice on that. Um, be sure to smash that subscribe. Uh, hit that like if you feel as though this video has helped you. Also, I'd like to give a massive shout out to Just A Tech for all the hard work he's doing on YouTube. The content he's putting out there amazing work tech keep up the good work brother you're doing extremely well um a big shout out to the checkmate team for working so hard to get this premium untethered bypass done we've had to wait a while for this people but they got it done thank you this is mark the icloud helper coming to you from Cardiff City. Bye for now, my friends. Bye for now.